Hey guys, Whitney Jones here, and I have to talk about something super important because if you're not already utilizing mobility balls as a warm up and for recovery, then you're truly missing out. This is crucial for any athlete, for anyone that's trying to get their health and fitness in check. So let me introduce you to the Fireball set of mobility balls by Full Court. This is three different sizes, and a lot of people are unfamiliar with what each one does. So that's what I'm gonna to talk to you about, but more importantly, anyone who is not utilizing these tools really should start implementing it. For me personally, if you followed my story, you probably have learned that I've broken almost every bone in my body. So before I do anything regarding lifting, fitness routines, any type of training, I always have to warm up. So depending on what I'm doing, I may utilize all of them or just one of them. So take a look and follow along. And of course, if you have questions, please, please ask. We're here to educate all of you. What's unique about the four core 4.75 mobility ball is the massage grip. So this helps because if you've ever used the traditional foam balls, they slip slide everywhere and that's never fun when you're trying to roll your glutes or your legs and it slides out and then your bones hit the ground. So this is super unique, that's why I love it. But the big one I use for a lot of my lower body releasing. Um, primarily I start always with the psoas, which psoas is right here. It's these muscles that cause a lot of pain in your hamstrings, hip. And so I always start lower body rolling out with the ball in my psoas. So start here. Basically with any type of rolling, you want to just put your body weight, let it rest into the ball. And then as soon as it releases, you move down or do any type of movement with your leg, getting that range of motion to help loosen up. Then I will roll down, hit the quad, slide, hit the IT band. And you just wanna take your time with all of this. Then after doing the front side of both legs, I'll always go to the glutes. So with this, it's ideal, hit kind of that figure four with your legs, sit into the glutes. You can change your height where you're really putting a lot of that tension into the areas of your glutes that really, really hurt. Lean into it, down, do some knee raises. That way you're really, really loosening up the glutes. Now this is the 3.2 size. Again, it's the fireball mobility ball with the massage grip on it. With this size, I like to utilize it for upper body really trying to open up the back, the shoulders, getting into the lats. So the smaller ball helps me to get into those smaller muscle groups. The bigger one, obviously lower body. And again, you can utilize any of these to the best of your ability based on where you're feeling those aches and pains. I start with this again on the floor and get into the shoulder. Just again, laying, kind of relax into it. Once it starts to release, do some movements with your arm to again, help open it up. Leaning back, sometimes I'll even lift and do a bridge to get more tension on those areas. Same type thing as you roll, getting into the lat. So really loosening up anywhere that hurts. Also for upper body, I do some of the warm ups on the ground, but then I also use this against the wall for some of those smaller areas that are a little difficult to get on the floor. So the upper trap area where you can lean into it, slide up and down, as well as getting into the side, shoulder, um, even into the bicep some. So really all your range of motion, leaning into the wall, the massage grip allows it to stick so it's not sliding down, you're not slipping and slamming into the wall. So utilizing this against the wall for glutes and upper body. So even though this is primarily what I use for the upper body, I do like it on the upper part of the glutes too. Leaning against the wall and then doing some knee raises helps me open up the top part of my glutes. 
Those smaller muscle groups, remember again, are what's beneficial for the smaller mobility ball. All right, and last is the four core lacrosse ball. Now this for me is really, really important. I've had a neck injury and also for most people who lift a lot, they have a lot of tightness in their traps, in their neck. So here's a very beneficial tip that I learned years ago that's helped me a ton. Find a doorway that you can place the lacrosse ball in and then you strategically place it into your neck. So watch this. After you release the knot, kind of rest into it and then slide arm up, down, out, turn your neck back and forth. And you can even then slide down and get the lower trap. Same type thing, same range of motion. The other thing that I love for this lacrosse ball is getting into those tight, tight hand glute areas. This is nice because it's small and it really hits it good. So find something with a hard surface that you can sit on, get on the edge, and get right there in that hand glute tie-in. From that, once you release it, do like leg extensions and you will feel it because if you're working lower body and you're working those glutes, you got to make sure to release that ham glute tight. So that's a wrap. I'm all warmed up, ready to train, and hopefully you guys have learned the benefits of using each of these mobility balls by four core. So make sure your body is properly warmed up so you can train efficiently and effectively.